So hello everyone. So today I'm going to show you how to configure more than one controller to your uh, Raspberry Pi 4 with RetroPie. So I have two controllers here today. This controller and this controller. Both are connected. So let's pretend I just connected this controller. So I'm going to press start. And I'm going to input uh, configuration. Yes, let's see. I just added this controller, so I just press a button. And that detects the controller. So just going to set it up, down, left, right. Start, select. So B, A, and B. So I don't have these other buttons, so I'm just going to press this button, B. This is already taken, just keep pressing it. Just keep it pressed. Press it again and keep it pressed. Just keep doing this until you get to the end. Enable hot button. I usually put that as select. So then that's it. I'm going to press B or A. A or B. Now I got out of it. Okay, select. Okay, that's good. So now I'm going to have to go to Retro Arc right here. Press the action button and you have to go to settings in order to configure the controls to set the control so uh, before you do that make sure you go to configuration and make sure use global core option is on get out of that go to input you could select as many uh, controllers as you like but I'm just gonna select two because I have two controllers here go to port one I'm gonna bind that and that is gonna be this controller right here and this is a retro pad with analog so this is analog right here and the controller is a Logitech. This is the correct one. Okay, I'm going to get out of here now. Go to port 2. I already did this, but let's say if I didn't do it, it'd be on non. It'd be on none. And this would also be disabled, so I would go here and select a retro pad and this does not have analog on it and go to device index and that would be the USB gamepad which is this one right here and press back 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 save configuration file save current configuration Sorry, go here and now it's saved. And this is for now it's saved for all the systems basically. And I'm gonna go back and just quit RetroArc. Next, I'm going to run a system. Okay, I'm going to run area 88. Let's see if this works. Okay, these are the detected controllers. And I'm going to see if this controller works. I'm going to press start. Okay, it works. I'm going to go back to the retro menu. 
and see if the settings that I set were saved. Back, go back to settings. Go to input. So max two users, that's what I did. I go back here and see. It's exactly like I said it. Logitech is the first one. Second one is the USB gamepad, okay. And that's what it is. I'm gonna quit RetroArch. I don't want to quit it, I want to try it out. Okay, I'm going to press start. Let's see if this game works with With this controller, I'm gonna use this controller and just move. Okay, everything's working. Now I'm gonna get out. So it does work. Do that, let's see. Let's see if this works. Okay, let's see if I can play the game with this controller. Okay, it's working, all the buttons are working. Able to move. Okay, great. So the only problem that I have with this is using arcade ROMs. For some reasons, it doesn't seem to work with arcade ROMs. So I try to play this, but for everything else it works. So I try to go into the retro art thing by pressing this, it doesn't work. So if I use this controller, I'm going to start out as player two, which is, this is player two. So if I press select and start with this, then I start out with player one, which is right there. So that's the problem. So if I want to get out, i to press that, select and start. So. The only thing it doesn't work with is with the arcade for some reason. And the problem that I have with this is that since this controller has limited amount of buttons and this is controller one, by default in uh, MAME means I can't go into the retro menu and change it. But if you have two identical controllers, let's say I have two identical controllers like this, then I wouldn't have that problem. So this is a problem with this um, emulator. So other than that, everything else works. So if you have a, let's say two Super Nintendo controllers, USB controllers, you should be all right. You could just swap out the, just change the 
controllers or if you have two identical controllers like this then that would also be all right so anyways that's it so thanks for watching by ace 1000ks 1975 signing out